A goiter or goiter is a swelling of the neck or larynx resulting from enlargement of the thyroid gland, associated with a thyroid gland that is not functioning properly. Worldwide, over 90.54% cases of goiter are caused by iodine deficiency. Signs and Symptoms Goiter which is associated with hyperthyroidism or hyperthyroidism may be present with symptoms of the underlying disorder. For hyperthyroidism, the most common symptoms are associated with adrenergic stimulation, tachycardia, palpitations, nervousness, tremor, and increased blood pressure. Clinical manifestations are often related to hypermetabolism, including increased metabolism, excessive thyroid hormone, an increase in oxygen consumption, metabolic changes in protein metabolism, immunologic stimulation of diffuse goiter, and ocular changes. Hyperthyroid individuals have weight gain despite poor appetite, cold intolerance, constipation and lethargy. However, these symptoms are often nonspecific and hard to diagnose. Morphology Regarding morphology, goiters may be classified either as the growth pattern or as the size of the growth. Growth pattern, uninodular, can be either inactive or a toxic nodule. Multinodular, can likewise be inactive or toxic the latter called toxic multinodular goiter, diffuse, the whole thyroid appearing to be enlarged. Size, class I, in normal posture of the head, it cannot be seen. It is only found by palpation. Class II, the struma is palpative and can be easily seen. Class III, the struma is very large and is retrosternal. Pressure results in compression marks. Causes, worldwide. The most common cause for goiter is iodine deficiency, usually seen in countries that do not use iodized salt. Selenium deficiency is also considered a contributing factor. In countries that use iodized salt, Hashimoto's thyroiditis is the most common cause. Sarcoidosis, amyloidosis, hydatidiformol, cysts, acromegaly, epidemiology. Goiter is more common among women but this includes the many types of goiter caused by autoimmune problems, and not only those caused by simple lack of iodine. Treatment Goiter is treated according to the cause. If the thyroid gland is producing too much T3 and T4, radioactive iodine is given to the patient to shrink the gland. If goiter is caused by iodine deficiency, small doses of iodide in the form of Lugol's iodine or KI solution are given. If the goiter is associated with an underactive thyroid, thyroid supplements are used as treatment. In extreme cases, a partial or complete thyroidectomy is required. History Chinese physicians of the Tang Dynasty were the first to successfully treat patients with goiter by using the iodine-rich thyroid gland of animals such as sheep and pigs a euro in raw, pill, or powdered form. This was outlined in Sen Quan's book, as well as several others. One Chinese book, The Pharmacopoeia of the Heavenly Husbandman, asserted that iodine-rich sargassum was used to treat goiter patients by the 1st century BC, but this book was written much later. In the 12th century, Zayn al-Din al-Jujani, a Persian physician, provided the first description of Graves' disease after noting the association of goiter and exophthalmos in his Thesaurus of the Shah of Khwarazm, the major medical dictionary of its time. Al-Jujani also established an association between goiter and palpitation. The disease was later named after Irish doctor Robert James Graves, who described a case of goiter with exophthalmos in 1835. The German Karl Adolf von Basto also independently reported the same constellation of symptoms in 1840, while earlier reports of the disease were also published by the Italians Giuseppe Flegiani and Antonio Giuseppe Testa in 1802 and 1810 respectively, and by the English physician Caleb Hillier Parry in the late 18th century. Paracelsus was the first person to propose a relationship between goiter and minerals and drinking water. Iodine was later discovered by Bernard Courtois in 1811 from seaweed ash. Goiter was previously common in many areas that were deficient in iodine in the soil. For example, in the English Midlands, the condition was known as Derbyshire neck. In the United States, goiter was found in the Great Lakes, Midwest, and intermountain regions. The condition now is practically absent in affluent nations, 
where table salt is supplemented with iodine. However, it is still prevalent in India, China Central Asia and Central Africa. Goiter had been prevalent in the Alpine countries for a long time. Switzerland reduced the condition by introducing iodized salt in 1922. The Bavarian tract in the Misbach and Salzburg regions, which appeared in the 19th century, includes a choker, dubbed Kropan which was used to hide either the goiter or the remnants of goiter surgery. Society and culture, in the 1920s wearing bottles of iodine around the neck was believed to prevent goiter. Famous goiter sufferers, former U.S. President George H. W. Bush and his wife Barbara Bush were both diagnosed with Graves disease and goiters, within two years of each other. The disease caused hypothyroidism and cardiac dysthmia. Scientists said that the odds of both George and Barbara Bush having Graves' disease might be 1 in 100,000 or as low as 1 in 3 million. Andrea True Kim Il-sung, former leader of North Korea Fictional Gotai sufferers, the redneck who murders Billy and Watt in the final scene of the 1969 counterculture film Easy Rider has a large goiter on the right side of his neck. Heraldry the coat of arms and crest of Die Kra paragraph PFNER, of Tyrol showed a man afflicted with a large goiter, an apparent pun on the German for the word. See also, Struma over I Euro a kind of teratoma, David Marine conducted substantial research on the treatment of goiter with iodine. Endemic goiter, references. External links, National Health Service, UK, Network for Sustained Elimination of Iodine Deficiency. Network for Sustained Elimination of Iodine Deficiency a Euro Alternate Site at Emory University's School of Public Health, a case and photograph of a huge goiter from photobucket.com and drcoderdose.net.